This is a 23rd video presentation for the Case Plant course. As you view this video, make notes of important information. Pause, repeat, and resume the video whenever necessary. A Plant Grocery Store Lesson 6.1 Plant Food You may have already completed Activity 6.1.2 Detecting Nutrient Problems Evaluating a mystery solution for which plant nutrient was lacking. This presentation provides an overview of specific fertilizer sources and how to calculate quantities of fertilizer needed, fertilizer application rates, and costs associated when using a particular type of fertilizer. Organic means that the primary nutrients are derived from plants, animals, or byproducts of living organisms, such as manure. Many farmers have had success with increasing the organic matter in their soils by using green manure crops. The practice of using green manure or cover crops is expensive. However, leaving crop residue in the field and later incorporating it into the soil prior to replanting can increase organic matter in the soils. Legume plants such as beans, peas, clovers, and alfalfa are used in crop rotations to provide nitrogen and organic matter. Chemical fertilizers such as anhydrous ammonia, urea, and liquid nitrogen are manufactured synthetically. Chemical fertilizers are often more uniform in nutrient value. The nutrient analysis of organic substances can vary greatly from one batch to another. Sludge can have human pathogens and heavy metals present. It must be used according to state and federal guidelines. Sludge is most often applied to fruit, seed, and grain crops. If the pH of the soil is above 6.5, it will bind the heavy metals from the sludge and render them inactive. The composting process eliminates most large particles as well as pathogens. Legumes contribute to soil nutrition through bacteria, fixation in root nodules, and remove nitrogen from the air and convert it into available soil nitrogen. Legumes can be used as a green manure source that is a cover crop grown specifically for being turned under soil rather than harvested. Synthetic fertilizers have advantages and disadvantages that must be considered by greenhouse managers and crop producers. Synthetic fertilizers come in a variety of forms which may require dilution, reconstitution, or other special practices. The next slides will demonstrate how to determine the amount of each primary fertilizer ingredient is in a single bag and how to use that information to determine quantities of nutrients that are being applied to soil. The figures 15, 16, and 17 refer to the amount of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium respectively. Nitrogen makes up about 15% of the fertilizer. 15% expressed as a decimal is 0 0.15. Multiply 100 pounds by that decimal the answer is 15 pounds of elemental nitrogen in the fertilizer. The numbers of each component of the formula are derived from the fertilizer bag or information sheet. If we use the fertilizer percentages for the nutrient being determined to apply to the plants. 100 pounds is the conversion factor for the percentage. Nutrient rate is the volume or weight that is needed to be applied. You will need the equation to calculate fertilizer rates in Activity 613, Fertilizer Figures. Let's try a rate calculation example. If you want to apply a 16-16-16 formula fertilizer to a lawn at a rate of 1 pound per 1,000 square feet, how much total fertilizer will you need to spread over 1,000 square feet? Set up the formula. Set 16 pounds of nitrogen over 100 pounds fertilizer equal to 1 pound of nitrogen per 1,000 square feet for the number of pounds of total fertilizer per 1,000 square feet, represented by x. Cross multiply the numbers. The equation should now read 16 times x is equal to 100. 100 divided by 16 is equal to 6.25 pounds of fertilizer applied per 1,000 square feet. Dry fertilizers are measured by weight, ounces and pounds. 
while liquid fertilizers are often measured in parts per million. The parts per million formula is given during activity 6.1.3 fertilizer figures. Plant growers must remember to calculate the economic value of a fertilizer to maximize profits. The nutrient content will affect the price of a fertilizer. A more concentrated fertilizer will usually cost more because of the higher nutrient value. Formulas are presented in activity 6.1.3 fertilizer figures. You will compare various fertilizers according to nutrient value and price to determine the most efficient fertilizer. As a review, mark or highlight three key points in your notes that are important to remember from this presentation. List two ideas or concepts that relate to previous knowledge. List any questions you have about this topic. Discuss these questions with your instructor. Keep any notes you have from this presentation organized and available throughout the course. Through activity 6.1.3 Fertilizer Figures, you will use mathematical formulas to solve problems regarding fertilizer analysis, rates, and cost comparisons. As a result, you will understand that nutrients can be added to the soil in various ways to maximize economic and nutrient efficiencies. Your teacher will provide you instructions for the calculations.